So, okay. I talk too much when I'm getting ready. I'm sorry. I'm just going to get ready. How about that? So, I'm here. Did I finish my story, though? I'm here just waiting until the couch gets delivered. They said it would be anywhere from 8 to 5. My skin is dry because I've been trying to do a little better with my retin-A or my tretinoin. Which is this. It's this one. And it's got tretinoin plus niacinamide in it. Which that's the way they do it now at, at the med spa that I bought it from. Can't do anything with these big long nails on hardly. They're kind of fun. So I, I chose this really like hydrating one because of all the I've got some flakies going on from the tretinoin and the vitamin C that I'm doing in the morning. So I would like to go find, I would like to look into maybe getting a laser to zap these darker spots because then I wouldn't have to wear so much concealer. And a lot of the time that's what makes that texture under there look worse is the concealer. So, but I can't do without the concealer at this point because I have all that, the, the spots under there. And not cute freckle spots, it's sun damaged spots. And I have this little, I like this little, the shape of this little sponge. So I'm going to try this, this wet and mild on here. I'm not sure. I can't even remember if she uses her fingers or not. But I think I'm going to find a brush. Some kind of little brush. Hmm, I wonder if that would work. Maybe something like kind of stout. But bendy. So this should cover up some of the discoloration on the lid. And help the shadow stick. Brighten up the eye a little, maybe. So we went out yesterday to a shopping mall and um, her daughter-in-law met us there and her baby and she was telling me about how she she was she enjoyed watching my videos. And I was like, do you watch my videos? Because hardly anybody watches my videos. Well, I didn't know that. That's cool. And um, she said she liked my, she was watching some Get Ready With Me. So that kind of made me think, oh, I should do another one. So this is for you, Jess. Um, I wanted to tell you about uh, an affordable eyeshadow palette that I like. And it's from Amazon. And it's Sorme. And it's called um, Warm Hues, I think. And I really like it. So I was using the Too Faced Born this way the other day. And I just kept putting it on. I mean, it is a gorgeous palette. But I kept putting it on and not being satisfied. And I, I know I, I said that in a few videos back. I said I'm done with eyeshadow. But... Apparently, I'm not yet. I, I keep trying to find some kind of, you know, meet in the middle of the road kind of thing where I can wear a little bit of eyeshadow and it not look overwhelming to my eye and bring attention to bad stuff. So anyway, with that Too Faced Born This Way, it was so gorgeous. But then I just could not stop myself from dipping into the sparkle and putting it on. And then I just kept getting all this glitter up underneath. So I've actually got it bagged up and the receipt and everything. I'm gonna take it back. I And I hate it because, well, let me just show it to you. Show you how pretty it is and you'll understand why I'm sad. The natural nudes born this way. I mean, look at how stunning this is. And the only one that I remember, so, I really liked this one and this one and this one. And this one wasn't bad on the glitter. 
Where's the camera? There it is. But still, I mean, some of them, like over here, it was nothing but glitter, not even really color. It wouldn't deposit. I think that I thought this one was pretty. They were pretty. They were all pretty. But it was the fallout that got me. But I'm not going to keep this whole thing just for those four colors, five colors. And then I remembered, I saw this Sorme that I remembered I had liked before. I've had it for a little while. Maybe, a, I don't know, six months or so. And so I pulled it out again and I thought, oh, well, it's got my light and my black, which I love. And then the only problem is, is this transition set shade is a little dark. And so, but this is gorgeous, and this is gorgeous, and that's pretty. It's all pretty. Um, so, I'm going to just hush up and put it on over top the white and see how that does. It didn't go all the way up. I left this part bare because I think this part just looks better without a lot of product on it. A little powder's okay, but I, don't, I find that I don't like creams up there. You know what? Maybe if I mixed it. I just had that thought. Maybe if I mix this, and I'm probably gumming up my white though. Maybe I, I can have a good um, crease color or right above the crease color with that. It's a really pretty day out today. I walked, I took a walk, a good, I took two walks with Alice on the, on the driveway. She really enjoyed it. We watched the leaves dance down. That's what my grand, grandmother, Granny, always used to say. We would sit, be sitting on the porch. I spent a lot of time with my grandmother growing up because she lived right next door to me. And we'd be sitting on the porch and she'd say, oh, look at there. She had a great, big, beautiful tree in her front yard and she'd say look at there Kim the, the leaves are dancing down and she always just had a big smile on her face and just loved it so I went you saw I went down just a little on the outer edge and then all through here so that's not too much so far but and so this one has a real pretty shimmer let me show it to you I'll show you the two that are next to each other and there is absolutely no glitter in here. It is just only shimmer. I mean, I even sprayed it with the setting spray, my brush with a setting spray, and tried to put on that those glittery or shimmery ones from the Too Faced, and it uh, did not work. Did not help at all. So I'm gonna go in with this one in the middle. I didn't show you which one. This one, which is kind of slightly peachy. And then I'm going to do the lighter one on the inner corner. All right. Oh, and then there was one more over here, which is more gold. Down at the bottom over here. And that's really pretty too. I don't know why I forgot about this. That's what happens when you have too much. You forget about the ones that you really love. You know, remember that old song, Love the One You're With? A little bit more. So I went in just a little bit more on that one. Okay, and it's like an angled liner brush. I think I'm just going to go in with the brown. Sometimes I go in with the black, and sometimes I go in with the brown and the black. Just at the base of the lash, just to try to make my lashes look a little bit thicker at the base. And I'm going to go in with this crease color here and put it on the lower lash a little bit, 
just ha outer third really almost to the half The, what first got me on Sorme was, remember a couple years ago when that oh, that one makeup artist to J-Lo, Barnes, Scott Barnes, he did that big video on how, to, how he did her makeup, and it was like 50 steps long. Anyway, but he liked these, these Sorme uh, lip liners, and I got like four of the different nudes. Because I'm always looking for a dupe for this Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude and one that's a little better because this one is just a little bit brown. If it were a little bit more, I don't even know what I need it to be. Maybe mauve or rosy. I can't remember. So there's Nectar. This one's Nectar. I'll just do a swatch. This one's Nectar. And it's pretty. Okay, so we'll just do, I've never actually done this, but this is a good idea. So I will just do a line of the Iconic Nude. And we'll see if any of them match it. But it's a little light. That nectar is a little bit light. Okay, and this one's Baby Doll. Yeah, I've never actually drawn these out to see which one's the closest. And this one is Natural Nude. I think this is the one that I like. I go to quite a bit. So I'm sorry, it was this one. Maybe I should draw it all closer to that line. Yeah, that one looks pretty spot on. It's a little bit darker. And we have one more, and this one is Natural Nude. I don't know, I have two of the same. No, I can't even find Matt's mine now. So I couldn't find the other, so I have two of the nude ones, which looks to be the closest to it. Now this one is um, Matting Call. I do it over here on this side. Oh man, that one broke. That one's a lot softer. Ooh, that looks like a pretty good uh, match though. So there's that one. It's real messy because it's, so these are harder and that's why these last a long time, but apparently these last a long time too. Okay, I'm gonna be much softer with this one. This one's more, this one's Matt's It. So here's my one that's more mauve nude. Right here. So this one is the iconic nude right here. And this one's the natural nude. And I think baby doll and nectar mats it over here. And no, matting call, I think, over here. And then mats it. So which one should I use? I don't know. Good thing I've still got this white. Okay, well, just for the heck of it, let's see. Let's see how they fare. So, those are still standing. I didn't do, here's the iconic nude. I'm doing that one now. That one stays really well. Now, yeah, these are not, that one was, I put so much on though, because it was soft. But yeah, I don't like it as well as the Sorme and the uh, Charlotte Tilbury. All right, so Sorme. And um, she thought, she obviously had the, the original and she said this was a dupe for it and it's Revlon and it's Untold Story in, and it's a matte. So let's try that one. And um, she, uh, I tried to find it at just my 
no Walmart, and they didn't have it. They had a bunch of other ones, which are also good. And she said that this on fire was a dupe for another of the, the velvets, the Lisa Eldridge velvets, which is gorgeous if you had the right the right place to wear that. And I would, I would wear it, although I'm not a red lip person. I do like that red. Did I show you what this one is? She says this is the dupe for the Velvet Fawn. So we'll try it and I'll put my lip liner on after. Okay, now we're gonna put one of my two natural nudes, I think, with it. And I do like these, I have tried these. This one's actually, it's a little light. But they do stay for a while. My lips are a little chapped. I really should have exfoliated before I did this, but we're gonna go with it. Just blend it with the Q-tip. So I know it's the Sephora sale, so maybe I'll swatch these two. So also, when I was cleaning up my drawers, I found this Dior, Dior Attic Lip Tattoo, and I really like it too, because it goes on and it wears off and, and you still have color all day. But these, dang if these aren't expensive. So, I'm gonna do a swatch of it. All right. Okay, so there's the the Dior. Let me make it better. And that is a pretty color. But then I have all these little liquid lip stain things also. And this is the Color Stay Satin Ink. And, hold on. Your Majesty. Oh, zero, 010. Your Majesty. So we'll see. I just kind of held them up to the bottle to try to pick out ones that I thought might be. Now this looks like it might be a dupe for what I have on. So I don't know. But we'll just try it. So it has this kind of lip. Okay, so this is more like, I would say more cool pink and uh, more opaque. And then I have this Color Stay, Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in 60 Poet. This is gonna be really nudey, I think. I'm gonna put it on the other side of the Dior. This is a real pretty nude. Kinda of wish I'd worn it. So there's that. So not, none of them are a dupe. So we'll do the one that, the last one that we have. And this is also a Superstay Matte Ink in the number 260 Hazelnut Hypnotizer. Oh, it's got one of those that's hard to the real real is sending me something. I don't need anything from there. Okay, so. Oh, this one is really brown. Hazelnut. Well, I guess it, the name indicates that it would be brown. Okay, so there's all those. This one is the original, the Dior. Still my favorite. But they would all be pretty, except maybe this one. I don't think this one would be good for me. All right, so I did not find a dupe at all. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe it with a tissue and we're gonna see what stains. Okay, well, they all stained. 
So they all stained. So you can see which stain you would like. So maybe once this one wore off, you'd still have that pretty pink hue. This one you'd have mud. But this one might be a pretty nude. I did used to really like the Bare Minerals. And since this Ilia doesn't give much coverage, I thought maybe I would add some of this. And I used to get it in the medium beige. The last time I went to Ulta, I saw that they have golden beige, which I don't know if they always had that, did they? Because I like it much better than the medium. Medium beige is a little pink on me. So not much at all, just that. Because I've found that it, the more you add of this, the more texture you see on your face. Must brush them back up. It's like a facelift, brushing your eyebrows up. And I'm going to use this L'Oreal Voluminous Base. But also my other, really probably my favorite drugstore is the Maybelline Full and Soft for volume. It's very good. So I'm gonna kind of maybe concentrate this mostly on the base because that's where I really like the thickness. I think this stuff dries fast, maybe. It seems a little tiny bit clumpy for me. And I'm having a hard time getting it at the very base where I really want it. Oh my goodness, do you see how it's just glued these together? I don't like that. All right, so I, went, I just went back over it with this Full and Soft. It has a great brush that combs through and comb, makes sure you don't have any lumps. So I like the way it made that a little better. Maybe it's just a brush mainly on that other because it did deposit a lot of product but um, it also glued my lashes together. Okay, I'm going to do brows now. I'm going to use this Anastasia. I think it's in a medium brown. All right, so nothing much here. Just filling in the sparseness where it's a little sparse. And I do make my, I, I make the arch go up just a little bit right here. Because this one, see, it, it has a higher natural arch. I do not add any to the um, arch on this one. But this tail is not real great. Maybe just a couple here. Because one thing, it's a pretty tone. It's like the hula tone to me. And I know it's a synthetic smell, but it smells good. <laughs> I love the smell of this one. That's why I pick it a lot of the time. I bet that's why they put it in there. They're trying to get you to develop a memory, a good memory around it. All right. What else have I forgotten? Blush. My favorite thing. How could I forget? And I know this is probably a summer color but I don't care, it's my favorite one. It's the Mykonos. It's the Buxom in Mykonos. It's kind of peachy. It's a real pretty bright, happy peach. Ah, there we go. There's Happy Kim. With her sun damage. Get over it, Kim. Honestly. I think it's just a tan. I don't think he's used to seeing people with leftover tan and freckles. Anyway, whatever. He was fast, though. That was one good thing. 
And he, and I mean, he, he did the main thing was told me that, you know, I didn't have anything dangerous. So, all right, well, let's see. Um, so that's my very minimal eye look on top of the, the wet and wild. Thanks, Marsha, so much. I really appreciate it. Let me fluff out my hair a little bit. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Bye-bye.